reporters and correspondents. It's not out yeah. there. How much worse is this <laughs> going to get? You know, the lake effect snow is going to continue throughout the day today. Because the air is so cold and the lakes are so unfrozen at this point, we have lake effect snow warnings through Erie, Pennsylvania, too. And these bands of snow will continue through the day today with an additional uh, perhaps two to four four to six inches of snow possible, but you get into those heavier bands and you can see closer to about eight to 10 inches. Now we also have another storm system. It's already made its way on shore in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to bring most of the snow to the higher elevations, which is where we have our winter storm warnings. The Grand Tetons could see uh, up to two feet of snow possible. And then it makes its way to the Midwest. As we go through later today and throughout the day on Sunday, we're looking at that to reinforce some of the lake effect snow as well off of Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. So here Here's this front moving eastward, and you can see by the time we get into the overnight hours, the snow starts to fill in across the Midwest. That lasts through Sunday morning. We could see up to two feet of snow in some of the highest elevations out in the mountains in the Pacific Northwest, but we will see a widespread six inches of snow through the Great Lakes. And again, where those heavier bands of lake effect snow set up, like where Kristen is, we could see an additional five to Jeez. 10, goodness. 12. 15 inches of snow. Oh, my goodness. goodness. All right, we'll get your national Thank forecast you, in just a bit. Meantime, it was an emotional. It's Bob, it's Bob Dylan. I mean, it's what Bob commitment Dylan. would it be? I would have been stunned if, if Bob Dylan had been there. Well, that's true. For the fans. Yeah. All right, let's talk about this forecast. Yes, and it's the northern half of the country that is dealing with most of the snow and miserable weather, heavy rain falling uh, through northern California. You can see the dividing line, though, south of uh, the center of the United States. We are enjoying lots of sunshine. Temperatures, though, are going to continue to cool off over the next couple of days. Days. This morning, it is bitterly cold with wind chills down around 25 to 30 degrees below zero across the Dakotas. It's only 13 for a high in Minneapolis, St. Paul today, 20s across uh, parts of Chicago. But the coldest is still yet to come next week. The Siberian Express is moving in, and that's going to bring us the coldest temperatures we've seen in a long time. Let's look at the weather across the country. Now, here's a peek out your window. I loved it. They are so talented. Um, are you going to, when you, when you have Junior here, you're going to put a balloon on him <laughs> to keep track of him? Producer said that what if everybody starts doing that? Then you just have balloons all over Different the Different color balloons. My parents used to use one of those little kid leashes. No. For my brother. My younger brother. We really? Would go to, oh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about those. I don't know. It either. makes I, sense to me. Yeah. You say my mom was a bad mom? Not at all. Is that, you talk about my mom? Is that? No, you are She's a wonderful watching. person. <laughs> He turned out okay. Uh, well, the jury's still out. Uh, let's get another check on that forecast, okay. please, ma'am. Let's talk about the cold because it is going to get so cold as we go into next week. This morning, uh, we're starting off with wind chills well below zero across the upper Midwest. But look at our highs. Wind chill in Bismarck later today, 12 below zero. Chicago only hits 25, but that wind will make it feel like it's about 19 degrees. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be chilly, but again, the coldest is still yet to come. Tomorrow morning, we're bottoming out in the single digits and 20s. It's all about the Siberian Express. Why is it called that? Well, the cold air originates from Siberia, and then it settles in across the Northeast and uh, even back through the Midwest. So watch as it kind of turns around, it pours on into the continental United States. This area of low pressure keeps it pumping in here, and Thursday will be the coldest day we'll see next week. Bismarck, a high of only three degrees below zero. Chicago makes it up to five degrees. Nashville only hits 35 by Thursday. Even in New York, temperatures won't even get above freezing. So it certainly is some of the coldest air we have seen so far this season. Dallas will only hit a high of about 50 degrees. Today, though, we're looking at another storm system making its way into the Pacific Northwest. This will blanket the Midwest again with more snow, about three to six inches possible. And then the lake effect snow will continue with some areas picking up perhaps another foot of snow. Let's look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. And that's your latest forecast. Right. The Siberian Express is officially my favorite map. I'm into the rurals and <laughs> right there were things and swoops and dips. Woo. And <laughs> Fancy you say this that morning. now. Wait until you're freezing on Thursday. <laughs> I don't want to feel it. I just want to look at the map. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when we come back, do you have trouble saying no? This is something you both struggle oh, with. True. Um, well, we've got some help for you. And up next, holiday gifts and decorations. Says with sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> ask an anchor. We have a fishbowl here. We have some questions from the plaza. We've got 90 seconds on the clock. Okay. Ladies, you ready? Yeah. Ready. Here we go. This is question These one. Are giant oh. note cards. Let's see. My question here is, what is the strangest thing that has happened to you since you started at today? I hear from people who claim that we're friends that, <laughs> that I've never known before. That's funny. Then they want to visit. Uh, um, how late will you sleep in on your time off? More sleep or less? 
I would, before we go, we have to say good luck and congratulations just one more time. <laughs> To my good my now is real. It's finally wrapping up. But it's up. real now, isn't it? Not it, that it wasn't before. It is. But. And when I saw Savannah's baby, Charlie, yeah. and it's like, oh, wow, there really is a baby at the end of this whole journey. So yeah. <laughs> it kind of made it even more real. And that's a nine pound, eight ounce baby. Yes. So. Woo! <laughs> I hope that Please don't be nine pounds. <laughs> <eight ounces. laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to miss you guys. I we're feel like it's you. the last day of school, and it it does. I'm not going to see you for a few months. And I was just kind of dealing, I think we're having kind of a little bit of a moment.